today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this bowl right here.
Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have my bowl to the shape that I wanted on the outside. And as I'm uncovering this wood, I see that there are voids in there where no uh, epoxy resin got into. And the epoxy resin itself has some voids in it too. So a couple spots where it needed to be filled. So what I did was I mixed up some more epoxy resin. Uh, I colored it a little bit darker than what I had before. So that way it would blend in, you know, with just a, a being a little darker would blend in better than being lighter. And I'm just going through and I'm using the pipette to, uh, it's basically just an eyedropper, uh, eye to pump in epoxy into it. Now, one of the holes actually went all the way through to the other side. So I'm using tape to seal off the edges. And then once I get it filled, I put the tape over it and that way it's gonna keep it from going any place. And tomorrow morning when it's all dry, I'll come out here and finish my shape and then flip the bowl around and start working on the inside once I have the outside all finished. So the bowl, you know, not quite halfway yet, but it's getting there. All right, well, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this bowl. Um, this is really my first attempt at mixing a resin with a um, piece of wood that had a lot of um, holes and cavities in it. And it, uh, you know, some insect damage there. I'm sure beetles have bore through this, but uh, it really came out nice. I just, I just love the way that this bowl looks. I, I like the maple rim. I thought it would be nice to have a a solid piece of wood across the top there. Uh, I wasn't sure how well this wood would hold up 
Uh, this wood has been around my friend's uh, place for a while. I actually casted one for him and uh, he turned that bowl and uh, I should uh, have a video of that up for you to look at soon. So uh, in, I think that uh, you'll like the, the two different colors or the two different ways that we did it because he did it. He did his a little larger, uh, left more of the resin. I took out a lot of my resin and mostly uh, the wood with resin accent. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe. It does help the channel. And uh, I look forward to having you guys along for my next project.